Good night. All right, so my buddy over at Houston Productions One, go check him out. He makes really great content about movies. He sent me a DM this week and was like, hey, dude, uh, check out this movie trailer that's coming out. And if I didn't know that this was a real movie, I would have thought it was an SNL sketch. To be honest with you, I have seen a lot. The Christian movie industry has has uh, stopped surprising me. I'm desensitized and, uh, and, and so it, it, challenge accepted is what I'm trying to say here. Is this so bad? I didn't want to watch it until I watched it with you guys. Let's check it out together and we'll be the judge as to whether or not this is as bad as Houston Productions made it out to be. Houston, you're on the, the witness stand right now. I'm the jury and the judge and uh, I'm, I'm a YouTuber. It's an equal level of importance, I think. Let me ask you something. It's called is Let the There Be Light. Any different than the God of ISIS because they certainly- Wait, I've seen this guy before. Where have I seen this before? Oh man, I didn't know he was gonna be in this movie. That has left me feeling a little- Disappointed! Oh, Hercules, when are you gonna stop playing a fake atheist in movies? This is just the new adventures of Professor Radisson. Remember how, like, in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., where Coulson just isn't dead anymore, they brought him back to life? Is the god you believe in any different than the god of Isis? Because they certainly don't think so. I think you're both smoking the same dope. The only difference is yours in a joint and theirs is in a hookah. <laughs> That's funny because of marijuana. Look at all these people who uh, definitely smoke a lot of marijuana. I don't think that's their vice. I think these people in the audience, their vice is uh, Golden Corral. <laughs> Sol Harkins has it all. Worship me. A new bestseller. Harkins. Was uh, Ditchard Rockins a little on the nose? The book is selling like hotcakes. A gorgeous model girlfriend. And this one. That is the hottest girl you can get in a Christian movie. <laughs> Immense success. I feel like a Bible Man episode's about to start. Miles Peterson, a man who had it all. Wealth, status, success. What? Nothing but net. That's how you know he's successful. What are those? Oh, come on. A what are those meme? I think you could do better, Kevin Sorbo. He's the Muhammad Ali of outspoken atheist celebrities. <laughs> what? The Muhammad Ali of outspoken atheist celebrities. You know, because that's something. What would Richard Dawkins think? Like, what does he think? I mean, obviously, he does, has no clue that this movie even exists, I imagine. But, like, what are you doing? Like, what what do people think they'll get out of a movie like this? You know, if we make a movie where we're totally making fun of Richard Dawkins, he'll probably hear about it and realize the error of his ways because we've set up this straw man. I don't get what the end goal is here. Saul Harkin's world. Can you honestly say that you are 100% on top no, of I've your game? I've seen him die in a car accident you, before. So. Don't you even believe in doing good deeds? I'm going to Haiti to dig a hole in the ground. Dad, I'm not asking you to believe in the church. I'm asking you to believe in me. His son is Jesus? How can you take something as intensely private as the death of their brother and use it as part of your carnival act? I would pray ha! to see my son just one last time. You know, sometimes I feel like Christian movie makers believe that the only way anybody could ever come to Jesus is their kid was dead. So stupid. <laughs> you know she still prays for you every night. Go! Baby. Back it up, let him through. Mr. Harkins, is it true you were clinically dead? Did you see the other side? Do you believe in God now? You are the only one who can say there is no there there. When someone almost dies, they are seeing their imagination quite literally running wild. I saw our son. What did he say, son? Daddy, let there be light. He's a user, Mom. He's a user, Mom. He uses you. He uses Connor and me. I don't want to see you get hurt again. What? Come on. I hate, hate when people write dialogue for kids and it is totally not what a kid would say. He's a user, mom, okay? He uses you, he uses mom, he uses dad. He's a user, all right? I read that in my psychology book that I am taking because I'm taking this college course even though I'm 13 years old. Come on! How am I supposed to sell the celebrated author whose latest exciting point of view is, I don't know. This better be good. That's what I said. When you discover that everything you believe What is this is voiceover? Alive. It sounds like Lemony Snickets. When you discover that a series of unfortunate events happens to an atheist, oh, he will show up at the church.
He'll be there. Where do you find the truth? A whimsical, fantastical world. Now you come to me and you say, Pastor Vinny, what does let there be light mean? Pastor Vinny, uh, what's going on? I mean, I just, I, I, what's this Jesus stuff all about? Let there be light? What's that all about? Huh? Is that the name of the movie or something? Follow me here. This ain't brain surgery. Jesus gets whacked, right? <laughs> well, I've never exactly heard it put that way, but yeah. Do you believe I heard about that. that God hears? God always answers prayers. Sometimes we just don't understand the answers. It's not, look, I'm not making fun of the thing that's being said. I'm making fun of the fact that it's being said as if it's some sort of great, profound statement. It's so redundant. We've heard it before. Let there be light. iPhone light. All right, so my first question is, are you guys ready for the amount of heat that'll be coming your way with this? Come on. <coughs> I'm choking up just uh, thinking about this. Another great Christian martyr movie. I thought that they had stopped. Part of me was thinking like, oh, they'll never come out with another movie like this again after God's Not Dead because they've learned their lessons. Pure Flix is like, all right, we're moving on from that sort of thing. But uh, apparently Sean Hannity and Kevin Sorbo, they're like, there's still money to be made here. I can't imagine this movie's gonna be successful. I think Christians are getting smarter than this. I hope that they are. If this movie does really well, I mean, I'll review this anyway, but uh, anyway, this movie looks terrible. It looks uh, like it's trying to cash in. And, um, and I don't think that it changes anybody's minds. Have an honest discussion about faith. That's great. I think that's important, but this is just, it's just stupid. Anyway, that's all I gotta say. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching this episode of Sagan I Kevin Reacts to Things. That's what it's called now. Big shout out to the people who pledged to my Patreon. We have two brand new patrons, Jonathan Duffy, who put us over the edge of our next tier. Also, Tyler Minix, and of course, Brendan Neely, the guys over at the Religious Nut and Hellbound Center podcast, and Matt Clark. We sent out this past weekend these glasses, which I can't see a thing, but the reason is because there is a solar eclipse this next week on the 21st, and I sent out these. They have, uh, Say goodnight, Kevin, on them to anybody who pledged $10 or more. Also, it is back to school, so I got these pens that are also a stylus, so you can use it on your, your iPhone, maybe? It also works on an iPad, but it also it, it works on a piece of paper because it is also a pen. You can't get these now because we just sent them out, but the pens, if you pledge between now and the end of August, then you can still get one of these. That's all I got to say for today. I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching the show, and I will talk to you soon. Good night. Thank <laughs> you.